Today on Pro Church Daily, we discuss how frequently your church should post on social media. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Daily, the show where in 10 minutes or less you'll get your daily dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we navigate the biggest communication shift we've seen in the last 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Mills. I'm joined, as always, by the boss man. It's Brady Shearer. And today we're talking about how frequently your church should be posting on social media. This is one of the questions that I get asked the most frequently when it comes to social media for churches. Right. And I think that one of the most deadly sins, if you want to use that verbiage, when it comes to social media for churches is posting too infrequently. Mm-hmm. Inconsistency is one of the best ways to sabotage your church's efforts on social media. There's this guy who used to be my my trainer, and his saying was always consistency over perfection. And that you being consistent day by day with fitness and nutrition is way more important than being perfect each day. Right. And I think that same kind of analogy applies to social media. That mm-hmm. same approach to social media is important. Consistency, showing up every single day. I think it's interesting that churches worry about posting too frequently because thesis for this whole episode, bottom line is, I see zero churches that have ever crossed the line right. in posting too frequently. Now, we all have that one friend. Of course. <laughs> who posts a little too frequently yeah. now and again. But here's why I don't think that this is an issue for churches. Recently, we have seen algorithm updates within Twitter, Facebook, and most notably Instagram yeah. that have removed the chronological news feed. Meaning, just because you posted something 10 minutes ago, and that's the most recent post that your friend should see, Yeah your family member should see, it doesn't mean that's what they will see. And it's very important to recognize that with social media today, just because you post something doesn't mean that everyone sees it. Realistically, only about probably 5-10% of your following is going to see every single post. And that's why we at Pro Church Tools have upped our Instagram posting from once a day to two to three times a day. Because we know that since these new algorithm updates with Instagram, people aren't seeing our content as much. And so we need to post more to compensate for this new algorithm shift. Right. And so that's the first important thing to recognize. The second is just to say this flat out, most churches, every single church that I know, except for maybe Elevation, who clearly has put a ton yeah. of effort into this and is killing the game, mm-hmm. your church does not have enough resources to put out enough social media to overwhelm the algorithm. No. It's just not possible. If you hold yourself to any level of quality whatsoever, because anyone can spam post, right. but if you hold your church at all to any level of quality, I think it is impossible for you to keep to that level of quality and at the same time, post too frequently. Yeah. You would need a team of a dozen people, <laughs> which is, I think, what Elevation has. Of course. Um, a couple of my... A couple of the senior leadership at my church went down to Inside Elevation, uh, I think a year ago or so, and it was just when they were beginning to take this huge dive into social, and they put together a full social media video team. So they have their video team. We've all seen Elevation's great you know, films and videos. They have a social media video team, and we see that reflected with how great their social is. If you're not following them, they are one of the best examples, no, the best example I have seen in the church world of stopping the scroll. Mm -hmm. I do not even really care about Stephen Furtick's messages, and I am so frequently stopping the scroll and looking at their news feeds because they construct them in such a way they're so curiosity focused. You're like, mm-hmm. what is this? And then suddenly you're reading a one liner by Stephen Furtick and going, mm, thank you, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> and you're getting blessed. Yeah. And so you just don't have those resources. It's just not going to be possible for your church to produce so much content mm-hmm. that's so great that you're going to overwhelm your audience. Now, again, that relies on you having a certain level of quality that you're requiring to post. And this is the idea the intersection between quality and quantity. You want to have the quality variable in this equation, in this intersectional equation, as the constant. Meaning your quality should always stay the same. And you only increase the quantity when you have the infrastructure and skill and time to keep the quality variable the constant. Exactly, yeah. And, you know, for those of you who are listening and to to us talk about how not every one of your users is seeing your posts, a lot of the social apps we're using like Facebook and Instagram have these great free tools where you can actually measure this for yourself. And so on Instagram, if your church isn't a business page yet, it should be. So if you're listening to me right now and you heard me say that and your page is not a business page, go and change it right now. It's free. 
Yeah, and you'll get all these advanced insights into who is seeing your posts, what percentage of your followers are seeing your posts, and also who's finding your posts that don't follow you. And you'll see these numbers that we're alluding to. You'll see them reflected in your own account. Not all of your followers are going to be seeing your posts. And so if you're posting once a day, not everyone you're engaging with online is going to see that. And so like you said, just to echo what you said, Braid, like we've in upped our posting two to almost three times a day sometimes now to ensure that people are at least getting one chance to see what we're posting and engage us with us on social media. So if you want to see those numbers for yourself, you can see them on Facebook, you can see them on Instagram, other platforms, and do some of that investigative reporting for yourself and see how many people actually are seeing your posts. And then you can, you can, you know, adjust your strategy based off those numbers. And we're doing the same thing with Twitter. At the beginning of the year, we were posting three times a day on Twitter, and now we're up to five times a day. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to keep increasing that as we have, you know, more and more content to add to that. And recently, Twitter came out and they made this new feature where you're not allowed to post duplicate tweets on Twitter anymore okay. uh, in, in an effort to prevent bots, mm -hmm. as Twitter has a little bit of a problem with that. And so one of our strategies is recycling content on Twitter using a tool like Meet Edgar or SmarterQ, because Twitter, it's such a fast-moving platform yeah. that most people aren't going to see your content. You can post the same thing every three months or so. Twitter's cracking down on that, so we're going to have to revisit our strategy again to figure out how to make that work with the volume that we want to keep to with our posting strategy on Twitter. Yeah. Bottom line... Your church, in my opinion, should be posting every single day on the platforms you've chosen to mm -hmm. be present on. And this is why it's more important to go deep with social media than it is wide. If you're not ready to focus on Facebook and Instagram, just focus on Facebook first. Make sure you're posting quality content every single day and then move on to another platform. But again, I just don't think it's going to be possible for most churches, realistically any church, to post more than they should be if they're keeping any level of quality because we just don't have the resources or infrastructure to make that happen. Yeah, I totally agree. That'll do it for today's episode of Pro Church Daily. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode of Pro Church Daily. Make sure to subscribe to the Pro Church Tools channel so you never miss another video. And if you like this video, why don't you go ahead and smash the like button? Smash it! See you tomorrow.